Hi, my name is Ron Blankstein. I'll be talking about when to order coronary CT angiography for patients with stable chest pain and how to use the results in clinical practice. Coronary CT angiography now has a class one indication by both US and European guidelines as an initial test to evaluate patients with stable chest pain who do not have known coronary artery disease. What is stable chest pain? Stable chest pain refers to chronic symptoms often associated with consistent precipitants such as exertion or emotional stress. Rather than pain, patients may actually describe discomfort, pressure, tightness, squeezing, heaviness, or burning. It may even be located outside the chest, for example, in the shoulder, arm, neck, back, upper abdomen, or jaw. When should we do more testing? It is important to remember that additional testing is not always needed. Further testing is most helpful in patients who have an intermediate to high pretest probability of obstructive coronary artery disease. The 2021 guideline provides a class 1A recommendation for coronary CTA for patients in this group who have stable chest pain and no known CAD. Specifically, the guideline states that coronary CTA is effective for the diagnosis of CAD, for risk stratification, and for guiding treatment decisions. What patients are at intermediate to high risk? The guideline provides a table to determine the pretest probability of having obstructive CAD based on age and symptoms. Most men over the age of 40 and many women over the age of 50 to 60 would have an intermediate to high pretest probability, which is defined as greater than 15%. The other option in the guideline is to incorporate information about the presence of coronary artery calcium. This may be known if one were to evaluate, for example, prior chest CTs. If patients have coronary calcifications, they will have a greater than 15% pretest probability of having obstructive CAD. And at this point, they would be classified as having an intermediate to high pretest probability. For a low risk patient, the guideline provides an option to defer testing or to consider a calcium score or an exercise treadmill test, both of these having a class 2A indication. When patients do have intermediates to high risk, a coronary CTA has a class 1A indication, but certainly other tests can also be performed. So the question for clinicians is often, when should I select coronary CTA as opposed to stress testing for my patients? Well, coronary CTA is generally preferred in those who are under the age of 65, those who are not on optimal preventive therapies, and when good image quality can be obtained. This is because most stress tests in this group will be normal, but if we detect plaque by coronary CTA, it may lead to the initiation or intensification of preventive therapies. Of course, if a patient is already on such therapies, perhaps the added value of CT might be lower. Other reasons that favor coronary CTA include when high quality imaging is available, when the main objective of doing further testing is to rule out obstructive CAD, when there is benefit from identifying non-obstructive disease, for instance, when there is an opportunity to further intensify preventive therapies, and finally, when prior stress tests, regardless of the modality, are inconclusive. When is coronary CTA less helpful? In patients who are morbidly obese and thus would be expected to have excessive image noise, when there are extensive coronary calcifications that can cause artifacts leading to the inability to accurately identify stenosis, and when there's a fast or highly irregular heart rate. This image is an example of a patient with extensive coronary calcifications. A coronary CTA in such an individual would be very challenging, if not impossible, to interpret. Also, if patients have stents, particularly small stents under three millimeters or overlapping stents, that would also be difficult to evaluate. What are the advantages of coronary CT angiography? 
A coronary CTA is a rapid and safe exam. It only takes several seconds to perform. It is also highly accurate. When a coronary CTA is negative, showing no plaque or stenosis, it can effectively rule out the presence of any disease. This is reassuring to patients and avoids unnecessary testing if patients return with symptoms. Coronary CTA can detect a wide spectrum of disease, including non-obstructive plaque, which generally cannot be identified with a stress test. And on the other end of the spectrum, it can also identify high-risk disease, such as left main stenosis or multivessel obstructive disease. And finally, the most important advantage of performing coronary CTA is that it has been shown to improve patient outcomes. Specifically, the use of CTA is associated with a lower risk of future myocardial infarction or coronary heart disease death. This is most likely due to the better targeting of preventive therapies to those with coronary artery disease. However, to ensure that our patients derive these benefits and have better outcomes, it is essential to use coronary CTA results appropriately when we decide on treatments. This slide shows how we might use coronary CTA results in patient management. For left to right is an increasing severity of stenosis from patients who have no coronary disease, minimal stenosis, mild, moderate, severe, and high-risk multivessel disease or left main disease. Patients who have non-obstructive plaque will generally benefit from preventive therapies. This is most likely due to the better targeting of preventive treatments to those with coronary disease. Thus, the more plaque, the more likely we are to recommend high-intensity stands aspirin, and perhaps other interventions like weight loss, aggressive blood pressure control, and other advanced therapies to treat diabetes and dyslipidemia. For moderate stenosis, the management also includes preventive therapies, but because such lesions are not always flow limiting, if there is uncertainty about symptoms, perhaps functional imaging could be considered. Patients who have severe stenosis and stable symptoms can be treated with preventive therapies, especially if it's a smaller or distal vessel. However, such patients can also undergo functional imaging or if there are frequent symptoms and proximal lesions, they can proceed to invasive angiography. Ultimately, the choice of performing a test like invasive angiography depends on the patient's risk as well as their symptoms. The one group in whom invasive angiography is always recommended are patients who have left main disease or three vessel obstructive disease. When should we do additional testing after an initial coronary CT angiogram? When patients have obstructive disease of more than 50% and are symptomatic, there's an option to do an FFRCT or a stress test. This is a class 2A recommendation. In fact, not all patients require this, but if there's uncertainty about symptoms or concern about their risk, this is an option. In conclusion, ideal candidates for coronary CTA are individuals with symptoms suspicious for coronary disease, no known coronary disease, intermediate to high pretest probability of having obstructive disease, and when excellent image quality is possible. Following coronary CT angiography, most patients will not require additional testing as the majority of patients will have normal coronary CTA or non-obstructive plaque. When non-obstructive plaque is present, we want to optimize preventive therapies. And in fact, this now has a class one recommendation in the guideline. When obstructive coronary disease is present, it can also be treated with preventive therapies, but one can consider doing additional function testing with either FFRCT or stress testing. Hi, I'm Eric Williamson, past president of the Society for Cardiovascular CT. Thanks very much for taking the time to view this video from SCCT's Referring Physician series regarding the appropriate application of cardiac CT. I hope you found it helpful for your specific practice as well as for your patients. Please join us for other lectures from this six-part series. I'm confident they will be equally as enlightening.